Good evening. Five people are in custody for a Landover homicide. This is CTV News. I'm Gina Barti. And I'm Patricia Vallone. Thank you for joining us. Well, police arrest five suspects at a fatal shooting at the Kentland Community Center. The suspects are identified as teenagers and young adults 17 to 21 years of age. They are Denilso and Williams, Diaz Salamanca, and Elda Benavides, all of Landover, Anthony Gomez Marine of Hyattsville, and Christian Mendez of Bladensburg. They've been charged with first and second degree murder in the death of 26 year old Oscar Alanis Gurdian. Authorities say they found the victim with gunshot wounds outside of the community center last Friday around 10.30 p.m. At this time, all we believe is that um, the victim was with another individual. Uh, these five suspects attempted to do an armed robbery, at which time they shot the victim and the uh, other victim was unharmed. If you have any information on the case, you are asked to call 301-516-2512. Fiery partisan debate continues on Capitol Hill today about the Constitution and the standards of impeachment. This follows a House Judiciary Committee session that went late into the night. Only the third time in modern history the panel had met to consider removing a president. The committee began a rigorous, uh, a bitter debate this morning with Republican lawmakers accusing Democrats of violating the Constitution while vigorously defending President Trump's Trump against two articles that accuse him of abusing power and obstructing Congress. Both President Trump and President Zelensky said there was no pressure. We saw the call transcript and there's no conditionality. There was never awareness on the part of the Ukraine that there was a delay in aid and the Ukraine got the aid without opening the investigation that seems to be so troubling to Democrats. Our colleagues will not even tell us whether in theory they think it would be wrong for the president of the United States to shake down foreign governments to come and get involved in our presidential campaigns in order to harm the president's political opponents. They won't even tell us in principle whether they think that's wrong. The panel is expected to conclude debate sometime Thursday with a vote along party lines to send the articles of impeachment to the full House for final passage. Well, in the sports world, several former NFL players are facing federal charges. Our Chris Marks joins us today with the story. Chris, what's going on here? Well, it looks like they tried to defraud the, uh, the health care system, and uh, if true, it's a very, very disturbing story. So we're going to get right to it. The U.S. Justice Department has charged 10 former NFL players with defrauding the league's health care benefit program. Four of those accused players played with the Burgundy and Gold. They include Clinton Porters, who played with the team from 2004 to 2010, Carlos Rogers, who was with the team from 2005 to 2010. Prosecutors alleged the players targeted the Gene Upshaw NFL Player Health Reimbursement Account Plan, submitting nearly $4 million in false claims between June 2017 and December of last year. The indictment alleges the players submitted reimbursement claims for equipment they never received, equipment that cost tens of thousands of dollars. Court documents also indicate the men may have fabricated letters from health care providers. The ringleaders of the fraud recruited other eligible former players by offering to submit or assist in submitting fake claims to the plan. In exchange, the ringleaders demanded kickbacks ranging from a few thousand dollars to $10,000 or more for each fraudulent claim that they submitted. Officials say they learned about the alleged fraud when the insurance company that administers the plan noticed some irregularities and contacted the Justice Department. Uh, so, Chris, if these turned out to be true, we're talking uh, players that make millions of dollars millions on the Millions and millions of dollars. And some of the equipment that they were alleged to be uh, purchased or, or claiming they purchased but did not, like uh, hyperbaric chambers to sleep in, oxygen mm. tanks, uh, the, uh, the cryo cryotherapy, big tanks, stuff like that is what they were putting down, stuff that costs thousands and thousands of dollars. big ticket items. Big ticket items. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks, Chris. It's pretty outrageous. All yep. right, thanks, Chris.